Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Eddie Lobo. Well, I'm telling you guys this story from when I was 14 years old in South Beach. I went to go visit my favorite cousin in the world. Go follow him. And, yeah, so this is a crazy-ass story. It was so scary. And just to let you know, I have a lot, a lot of crazy stories. And so I'm going to try to keep it at one every week, maybe at least two a month. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoy. Oh, 2014. I'm 14 years old. At the time, I'm living in New Jersey. This is before I moved to Miami. So I go on vacation to go visit my favorite cousin in the world. Bang. Yep. So me and him, we used to always smoke weed, get dummy fried. Hey, I don't smoke weed no more, but we used to smoke weed every time we got together. It was like a ritual. But this time, he had something new for me. It was wax. Dabs. I'm like, what the fuck? Is that heroin? And he's like, nah, bro, this is weed. But it's like cooked up weed. It's like soup weed. It gets you stoned in your mind. So, reluctantly, I took six hits of that shit the first time I did it. Then I remember we were on the couch. We're playing video games, and I become a part of the couch. I'm just melting there. I can't talk. I'm stuck. And then here comes my dad. My dad walks into the room, and he's like, yo, what the hell did you guys do? My son looks like he's dying. Did you give him something, Baron? And he's like, no, Theo, no, Theo. I just gave him some dabs. And my dad is like, what is dabs? And then my, my cousin shows him. And he's like, hey, you want to take a hit? He's like, oh, no, no, no. I don't do that shit. So, yeah, so then the story goes on. Later on, we go to go swim in the beach. Everything is going good at this point. I'm doing, we're both doing flips and shit, like little dolphins. Having a good time. But here's where the story takes a turn. We were in the beach for like a whole hour without drinking nothing, right? So then, afterwards... After after this happens, when we leave the beach, we go to take a walk on Ocean Avenue. And if you've never been to Miami Beach, Ocean Avenue is the main street. It's like a really, really big avenue with a bunch of stores and stuff like that. So while we're taking a walk, I go blind. Like literally my vision, it goes away. Everything turns white. And normally, I thought that it turns black. But everything went white. So for a whole minute, I'm walking blind, and I don't tell nobody. I'm just thinking in my head that it's going to pass, that it's like a, it's just like a, a quick thing that's going to pass. After a minute of this happening, I'm like, oh, shit, I'm going to have to tell my dad. I didn't want to tell my dad because I didn't know. So I was actually scared out of my mind. I thought that I was never going to be able to see again. So then I go and I tell my dad, I'm like, hey, dad, I can't see nothing. And then they're like, what do you mean you can't see nothing? I'm like, I can't see nothing. Everything is white. My dad, he starts screaming. He's like, you see, I knew you gave him something, Baron. I knew you gave him something. Just to let you guys know, after this happened, my dad was real strict about me coming over every after, ever since after this experience. So back to the story. I reassure him, I'm like, Dad, no, I swear we were just taking dabs. So, in a, in a bit of, um, of being desperate, my dad runs to the store and grabs me a bottle of Fiji water. I put some in my face and I drink it, drink it. Within 10 seconds, my vision comes back. And then, uh, everybody celebrates. And um, after that, we all go to Pizza Hut because my dad is like, you need to get something in your stomach. That's the end of the story, guys. If you like this story, like I said, I have a lot of other crazy stories. So go follow me, guys. And you can see my new videos on my story. Go show my cousin some love on Instagram. Go and follow him. That's about it, guys. And just a quick note before this video ends. This happened to me one more time when I was 16, a heat stroke because the elevator was way too hot and I had just came from the hospital. Maybe I will tell that story another time. See ya.